Plateau State Government has reimposed the 24-hour curfew earlier relaxed in just north local government area of the state. This followed the attack on Yeluwanza and Gum community in just north, which led to loss of lives, burning down of houses and properties on Tuesday night till the wee hours of Wednesday. The incident has generated tension in just Bukuru metropolis and people have been running helter-skelter. In a statement to this effect by the Director of Press and Public Affairs to the Governor, Makut Macham, the government said the 24-hour curfew came to effect on Wednesday until further notice. Daily Trust correspondent Dixon Adama gives an update on the situation in Joss. Right now, I'm on the street of uh, Joss, the Latin State capital, and where I am now is between Old Airport Junction uh, uh, the, uh, uh, to uh, Zamagada Junction, the uh, Niango Junction. And, and although this place is in the south, uh, which uh, the coffee is still at uh, Dogs to Dawn, but that is which is 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, then, however, uh, in just not right now, the coffee, which has, was earlier 24 hours and was reviewed the tally with that of the south, has now been reenacted again to 24 hours following the killings yesterday at Yeloa Zandam community of just north uh, this behind Naragutao uh, hostel uh, of a uh, university of Joss. this has caused so much tension although I'm about, about 30 people plus were killed there and uh, it has generated so much tension in town and the tension, the, 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 the tension is for the fact that the cops were brought to the town. And those people who brought the cops to the town, they used the women, the children from that axis, brought the cops to the town. And they took the cops first to Plateau Hospital and then to uh, the House of Assembly. And then they took it to government house. And whenever uh, the cops have been brought from communities like that, to town and there is going to be burial or protest or something. Whoever stand in the way of the, the, the protesters or the, the mourners are uh, usually attacked. It doesn't matter who you are. And I think that was a recent episode we saw when some innocent travelers were coming from Ondo State, uh, uh, from uh, uh, Bauchi State to Ondo State, and they passed through Rukba Road and they were attacked and many were killed. And that has led to renewed attacks, renewed crisis, and renewed tension in Joss.